Father, we thank you. We thank you for this morning, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that you wake us up. We thank you, Lord, that you are aligning things again. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you, Lord. We just ask you to give us strength. Father, we declare and decree that we are strong in the Lord. And in the strength of his might, I put on my full armor of God. In Christ, I can do all things because he strengthens me. The Lord is my strength, my shield, my heart trusts in him, and I am helped. Therefore, my heart exalts with my song, I shall thank him. He is my strength and my saving defense in the time of trouble. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is in my spirit. I build myself up in my holy faith, praying in the Holy Spirit. As I do this, I keep myself strong in the love of God, my God keeps me from falling and presents the faultless and blameless in the presence of my Heavenly Father. With exceedingly great joy, my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not allow my foot to slip. He will keep me. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is the shade of my, the Lord is my shade on my right hand. The sun does not smite me by the day, nor by the moon by the night. The Lord pro protects me from all evil. He keeps my soul, and he guards my going out and my coming in from this time forth and forever. When I pass through the valley of weeping, the Lord makes his spring for, spring for me. I go from strength to strength in the Lord. The Lord God is a sun and a shield to me. He gives me grace and glory. No good thing does he withhold from me. I am blessed because I trust in him. My heavenly father grants unto me according to his riches and glory, the ability to be strengthened with the power through his spirit in my inner man, so that Christ may dwell in my heart through faith. And that I, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all believers what is the bread and length and the height and the depth to know that the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge that I may be filled up to the fullness of God I do not lose heart in doing good for in due time I shall reap if I faint not my eye is single therefore my whole being is full of light I am steadfast unmovable always abounding in the work of the Lord knowing that my toil is not in vain in the Lord. God is my strong fortress. He sets me in his way. By him I can run through a troop. And by my God I can leap over a wall. He is a shield because I take refuge in him. He makes my feet like, like hind's feet. And sets me on a high place. He trains my hands for battle. So that my arms can bend a bow of bronze. He has given me the shield of the salvation and his help and strength make me great. I pursue my enemies and I destroy them because the Lord has guarded me with strength for the battle. The Lord gives me strength when I'm weary and when I lack, might he increase the power. I wait on the Lord and renew my strength. I mount up with wings like eagles. I run and I do not get tired. I walk and I do not faint. Lord, we just declare and decree that as we walk and as we do your word, do your will in this earth, our purpose, our destiny, as we begin to fulfill 
which you have called us to do, that we do not grow weary, that we will not faint in our journey. Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ, you have become our wisdom, our righteous, our sanctification, our redemption. Because you have dwelled in us. I know wisdom and instruction. My God gives unto my spirit of wisdom and of revelation and the knowledge of Christ. When I lack wisdom, I ask in faith and it is given to me generously. This is heavenly wisdom, which is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, easily entreated, full of mercy, good fruits, unwavering and without hypocrisy. I discern the sayings of understanding. I receive instruction in wise behavior, justice and fairness. I walk in the fear of the Lord, which is the beginning of knowledge. Jesus pours out his spirit of wisdom upon me and makes his words of wisdom known to me. I receive the sayings of wisdom. I treasure the commandments of the Lord within me. My ear is attentive to wisdom. I incline my heart to understanding. I cry for discernment. I lift my voice for understanding. I seek for wisdom as for silver and for, and search for it as for hidden treasures. Because of this, I will discern the fear of the Lord and discover the knowledge of God. The Lord gives me strength. Father, give us strength. Give us wisdom, Lord. Give us wisdom, God. Give us the wisdom you've given unto Solomon, Lord. That gave us the ability to address the issues of the people, but as well as knowing how to speak to them. From his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for me. He is a shield to me. He guards my paths with justice and perseverance my way. Wisdom enters my heart and knowledge is pleasant to my soul. Discretion guards me and understanding watches me to discover me from the way to deliver me from the way of evil. I do not let kindness and truth leave me. I bind them around my neck and write them on a tablet for my heart so that I find favor and good repute with God and man. I trust in the Lord with all my heart, and I will not lean on my own understanding. In all my ways, I acknowledge him, and he makes my path straight. I am blessed because I found wisdom, and I gain understanding. I have a long, full life because it is in wisdom's right hand, and I have the riches and honor that are in wisdom's left hand. Because I love wisdom, all my paths are peace and my way is pleasant. Wisdom is a tree of life to me. I am blessed because I hold her fast. I inherit honor because of my love for wisdom and my dwelling is blessed. I acquire wisdom and understanding. I do not forsake wisdom. Therefore, wisdom is my guard. I love wisdom and I am watched because of I prize and embrace wisdom. Wisdom exalts and honors me. Wisdom places a garland of grace on my head and presents me with a crown of beauty. I call wisdom my sister and understanding my intimate friend. Because I love wisdom, both riches and honor are with me, enduring wealth and righteousness. Wisdom endows me with wealth and fills my treasures. I listen to wisdom. And daily watch at her gates. I eat wisdom's food and drink of the wine that she has mixed. I forsake fully and I live. I proceed in the way of understanding. And when I speak, I speak noble things. And the opening of my mouth produces the right things. My mouth utters truth. All the utterance of my mouth are in the righteous because I walk in the way of wisdom. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we are walking with wisdom. 
Thank you, Lord, that the voice of wisdom is being heard right now in our spirit as we speak. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, we decree and we declare. For those who don't have wisdom, that they would meet wisdom today. Today in their journey. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God, that you empower us. We decree and declare that we receive the power when the Holy Spirit comes upon us to be the Lord's witness even when the uttermost parts of the earth. In Jesus' name, I go into all the world and I preach the gospel to every creature. These signs follow me as I go because I believe. In the name of Jesus, I cast out devils. I speak with new tongues. I take up serpents. And if I drink any deadly poison, it shall not harm me. When I lay hands on the sick, they shall recover. I go forth and preach everywhere. And the Lord confirms the word I preach with the signs that follow. When I go, I go in fullness of the blessing of the gospel in Jesus Christ. The works that Jesus does, I do also in his name. And greater works I do because he has gone to the Father. He has gone to the Father. Greater is he. That is in me than he that is in the world. Jesus has given us the power over the power of the enemy. He has given us power to over power over unclean spirits to cast them out. He has enabled us to heal all manner of sicknesses and all manner of disease. And as I go, I will preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I will heal the sick. Cleanse the leper. Raise the dead. I will cast out devils because freely I have received. Freely I have received. Lord grants me boldness to speak his word. He stretches out his hand towards me to heal. That signs and wonders may be done through the name Jesus Christ. His spirit has been poured out upon me and I prophesy. All power in heaven and earth has been given unto Jesus Christ. I will go in his name and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. I will teach them to observe all things that Jesus has taught me. Jesus is with me, even unto the end of the world. He has called me to himself. He has given me power and authority over all devils to cure diseases. He has sent me to preach the gospel. He has sent me to preach the kingdom and to heal the sick. And as I go, Jesus prepares a way with, with his favor. For the Lord surrounds me with his righteousness and favor is my shield. He sends his angels before me to watch over my ways and to bear me up. Like Jesus, I have been anointed with the Holy Spirit with power. And I go about doing good and healing all that are oppressed from the devil. For God is with me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim and release to the captives and recover of sight of the blind. To set free all who have downtrodden and to be proclaimed the favorable year of the Lord. I rise and shine because of my light has come and the glory of the Lord has risen upon me. Darkness shall cover the earth, gross darkness the people. But the Lord has risen upon me and his glory appears upon me. Nations will come to my light in Christ and kings to the brightness of my rising. My speech, my preaching is not with enticing words of man's wisdom. It is in the demonstration of the spirit and power that faith of those I preach to shall not stand on the wisdom of man, but in the power of God. For the kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power. 
the Lord grants unto me, according to his riches, in glory, to be strengthened with might by his spirit in my inner man, according to his glorious power, unto all patience and long suffering with joy. I labor according to his power that works mightily within me. I preach not myself, but Christ. Jesus as Lord and myself as a bond servant of Christ and his body for Jesus sake for God who said that light shall shine out of darkness is the one who has shown in our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ. I have this treasure in the earthly vessel that the surpassing greatness of the power may be of God and not of myself. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that I ask or think, according to the power that works within me, be honor and glory forever and ever. Father, you empower us. You empower us today to go, to give the good news. To be able to spread the gospel to those we encounter, God. Give us the strength, Lord. Give us the power in our spirit that as we preach the gospel, that signs would follow. Your signs, Father, are only confirmation that the words that are being released are being released in spirit and in truth. That is being released according to your kingdom. Not according to what man has created, but according to what the Father has created in man. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. We thank you that we are supernatural in Christ. In Jesus, I am a new creation through the Holy Spirit. I am able to do all things that Jesus did, and I'm doing the greater works. I am declaring and decreeing that I am a supernatural being because of my new birth in Christ. In my spirit, man, I am fully righteous, made in the image and likeness of Christ. His nature, character have been given to me. His power and glory have been given to me. By Christ's amazing promise and grace, I am filled with all that he is and all that he has. Miracles, signs, wonders, they'll continue to follow me when I preach the good news of the kingdom. For the Lord himself confirms the word that I'm going to proclaim. In the glorious name of Jesus, I create light in the darkness. And I order and I, re I call forth the order. And I establish the order in the chaos by calling those things that are not. Lord, I establish order in chaos by calling those things that are not as though, as though they are. I declare and declare in Christ. I have power over all the works of the enemy and nothing harms me. The strongholds of sickness, disease, oppression, possession, demonic attacks are under my feet. When I take dominion in Christ, I go forth in the mighty name of Jesus that is more powerful and carries more authority than any other name. The invisible realm of the kingdom of God has been granted to me through the eternal unbreakable covenant that Christ has made on our behalf. My heavenly father has chosen gladly to give me the kingdom as well as the keys to the kingdom. I have access to the throne room, the heavenly realms by faith through the blood of Jesus Christ. I enter with boldness and confidence before the throne of grace, and I obtain grace and mercy to help in the time of need. The eyes of my heart and understanding are open by the Spirit of God, so that I will know the hope of my calling in Christ. 
Some of us might need some hope today to f- to just be able to endure the calling that God has put on you. Some of us just need that hope. That hope that would rise up in you. To have you strengthen in your calling today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, that you are giving us hope, a fresh hope. You're giving us a wind of hope today that what we see is not what it is. It's not what it should be. What should be is what fa- what is found in your word. And that is what you will establish here on earth for our life and for your purpose. Thank you, Jesus, that you that you have gladly given us the king, the kingdom and the keys to the kingdom. So we have the access to your throne room and the heavenly realms by faith through your blood. We enter in with the bonus and confidence before the throne of grace and obtain the grace and mercy to help in the time of need. The eyes of our heart and understanding are open. Some of us just need to ask the Lord to open our eyes of our heart. To open the eyes of our heart. You might not know what that means, but the eyes of your heart will bring understanding to the Spirit of God. So that we would know the hope of of our calling in Christ. The God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, gives us the spirit of wisdom and the revelation and knowledge of the Godhead and opens up our understanding to know the surpassing greatness of Christ's power towards us and to all who believe. These are in accordance with the working of with the working of the strength of his might. I am seated with Christ at the right hand of the Father in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named not only in this age but also in the ones to come through Christ I have to I have come to the city of the living God the heavenly Jerusalem to general assembly and church of the firstborn who are enrolled in heaven and to God the judge of all and to the spirits of the and to the spirit of righteousness made perfect and to Jesus the ma- the mediator of our new covenant and to the sprinkled blood which speaks better than the blood of a bell i have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken and therefore i show gratitude by which i may offer to god an acceptable service with reverence and awe my god our god is an all consuming fire I am an eternal being, being. Eternal life dwells within me. Therefore, I am not limited to the restraints of time and distance. I will say this again. We are not limited to time and distance. For the Father is good at redemption. As the Spirit leads, I can perform supernatural acts like Jesus did. Such as walking on water. Walking walking on water, feeding the multitudes with miraculous provision, changing substance like water into wine, altering, altering that, being lifted up off the earth, raising the dead and walking extraordinary miracles. The angels are dispatched into divine assignments when I declare the word of God, for they obey the voice of the Lord. They obey the voice of the word. Of the Lord that we speak today. The words of Jesus are spirit and life. Angels ascend and descend upon us because Christ dwells in us. They are ministering spirits sent by God to help us in our mission on earth. Even when I do not sense them, I see them. They are with us to protect us, to minister to us, and as supernatural beings, our senses are exercised to discern good and evil. But today and every day and as every day we live on this earth, 
even in eternity, we will always choose good. I am able to see and hear and feel the invisible kingdom realm around us. I am the temple of the Holy Spirit. My being is filled with glory. When I remember and proclaim the goodness of God, the Lord is good. His mercy endures forever because Christ dwells in me. I live under the open heaven and a blessing come upon us and overtake us. We are blessed with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. I am supernatural. Someone needs to declare that today. You need to start believing that you are a supernatural being that is walking with the spirit of God. That is capable and able of doing all that he said you would do. That you would raise the dead. That you would cast out devils. That you would open the eyes of the blind. That you would open the ears of the deaf. That the lame shall walk again. You have the power to break the yoke of oppression over the people. You have the power to to to, to stand and to be the restorer of the streets. You have the power and authority to do all that is right that has been made wrong. I am a supernatural being encountering Christ and his kingdom. I bring glory to God through my obedience to him and by the word of my testimony. Come on, let's just declare it. Let's just declare it. We are a supernatural being in Christ. We have access to the throne room. We have access. We have the keys to the kingdom. Nothing is being held from us. Nothing is being held. We are not limited as we have unlimited resources in Christ. Every part, every ounce, everything he has ever given us. We can simply ask it. We can simply call it forth and it shall be. Because when you decree and declare the things that God has for you, you shall have it. It will be manifested. You are going to have to practice being supernatural in Christ. You're going to have to practice uh, calling forth uh, things to be. Your resources have to be called forth for it to be. If you're asking for the Lord for, for provision, then you have to not ask the Lord for provision, but say, Father, it is in found in your word that I have unlimited as, access to your resources. And so the, today, Lord, I decree and declare that my resources will become, will come forth, will manifest itself in this realm. You have to believe. You have to believe. That you have been given this authority. That you are a supernatural being. You have to believe that the Father is the resources to everything in your life. Every access that is needed. Any, any door you need open. You have to remember that God is the door. If it is money, you have to remember that God is the money. He is the provision. He is the one who will open the door. He is the one who created all things and nothing on this earth. Nothing on this earth was not, cre not created without him. God's essence is in everything. God's essence, his very nature is in everything. Because he is still on his throne. And in control. He is still on his throne. And what pleases the father? What moves the father? But to hear his word coming back to him. Where is being inhabitant. Where we're habitating his word. Where we are standing on his word. And we're saying father your word says. And he will say you are right. My word does say that. And what I love the most is to fulfill it. Thank you, Jesus, for that revelation. 
Thank you that we will begin to practice that we are supernatural in you. That we can have all the access we need in you. Father's work is not hindered because of resources. Father's work is not hindered because of, of limitation. No, there is no restrictions. There is no whole bars. Father, I just decree and declare that we would rise up on a nut. We would bring ourselves, we would raise the bar in our life. We will raise the bar in walking with you that we would not just do this out of religion, but we would understand that we are in communion with you, which means that we partner up and we put it, we, we, we set ourselves on the next level. We, we push us our, ourselves to the next level, the next bar, and we begin to practice what you're asking us to practice, to call things for us. Thank you, Jesus, that we would begin to see your manifestations as we begin to practice our faith, that we would see those things come forth. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. We give you glory, God. Your name is honored. It is being glorified all across the earth. Everything that's in this earth gives you praise. Even the rocks cry out, holy, holy, holy is the Lamb. They even recognize that you are holy and that you were a lamb that was slain. They recognize that there's a roar of the lion of Judah. We can hear the sound, God. We can hear the sound. And if we hear the sound, then we hear the voice. Because your voice is the sound. The word says that your voice is like a roaring thunder. Father, we hear the sound. We hear the sound that cracks upon the earth. We know, Father, your bidding. We hear it when you are doing the work. So, Father, open our ears. Open our ears, Father, that we would hear an, at another level, that we, our, our hearing will become intensified, that you would intensify our hearing, supernatural hearing, supernatural hearing, like bionic people, like bionic people we can hear at a higher level, that we can hear past conversations and into the realm of the Spirit, that we can hear in the realm of the Spirit. Father, right now, I remove every um, every earpiece, every roadblock. I remove every earplug right now in the name of Jesus. Every earplug is uprooted. And I decree and declare that from this day forward, you will hear at another level, at a higher frequency, that whilst people are talking, you can hear in the spirit. Behind that conversation, you will hear the spirit man of that person, and you will be able to hear and call forth things that should be broken and things that should be established. You will hear the truth. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, that those gifts come with this amazing grace. Father, establish the grace that we are that is needed in our lives so that we can fully function in your gifts, God. Great grace abundantly blesses us. It not only blesses us, but it fills us. It will empower us each and every day. God's grace, his undeserved, unmerited favor towards me, his divine influence upon my heart and life enables me to fulfill his will and purpose in life. And through my life, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ is at work within me, both to will and to do his good pleasure. I am saved by grace, justified by grace, unable to fulfill his daily work by his amazing grace. His grace and peace are multiplied unto us as I as we humble ourselves before you, God, as 
I increase in grace and power. I will perform wonders and signs among the people that will bring glory to God. I have been granted grace by, by Christ to enable me to walk in the gifts and calling I was destined to fulfill. Jesus has invited me to come boldly before his throne of grace so that I may obtain the mercy and grace to help in time of trouble. I have free access to this glorious presence through the blood of Christ I am not under the law or in the bondage to do it but I enjoy the grace of God who fulfilled all the law for me through Christ I have fulfillment of the law within me because of the finished work of the cross God's amazing grace has granted me everything that pertains to life and to godliness I have done nothing to deserve this goodness and favor as it is a gift given because of his great love for me come on let's begin to press in let's begin to press in let's begin to press in that God will bestow his his grace at another level this season we need the grace of God in our life we need to be able to operate in the spirit of excellence we need to be able to operate the way he created us we need the purpose of our life the purpose of our destiny to be fulfilled we shall not die without seeing it coming forth come on you need to prophesy I will not die without seeing the fullness of God's purpose for my life. In Jesus' mighty name, Come on, get caught up in the spirit. This is a thing of the spirit. This has nothing to do with a natural man. It has everything to do with your spirit. If you're trying to muster this up in the natural, you will not win but if you muster this up in the spirit you shall overcome listen an hour of praying in tongues will take you on another level you have to begin to use the gifts that God has given you come on Lord come on Lord have your way in our life have your way right now God fill us up fill us up with that amazing grace with the grace that we need to perform signs miracle wonders the grace that we need to preach the gospel the grace that we need to raise the dead sometimes you guys are looking at God's amazing grace and you're calling it amazing grace with a period but God's amazing grace is surpassing your own understanding it is a river that flows and flows in abundant his amazing grace covers us his amazing grace walks with us his his amazing grace is overflowing in us this grace Lord this grace that you have given us has all all the all the the, the the resources we need to be able to preach the gospel all the resources we need to be able to to reach the harvest God this is this is where you'll find your your resources is in this amazing grace father give us an outpouring of your grace not the grace that that people are are asking for that is hyper because they are in sin but an amazing grace that comes to change a nation father it is your grace today we lift up a banner of grace we call it forth the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ that has granted us favor and success that everywhere we go and all that we will do as we follow him, as grace has been extended towards us, we extend grace to others and therefore show them the goodness and the love of God. Freely, 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 I have received. So freely we will give. So freely we will give. And today I have received an increase a multiplied measure of his amazing grace. Grace. I am forever, forever grateful to God for his grace glorious gift of amazing grace and therefore proclaim his grace and peace to others thank you Jesus for your amazing grace thank you for the revelation and understanding of your grace I understand that there is uh, an uh, abundance of in your grace when father said my 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 when father said in the word that my grace is sufficient enough we understand, Lord, that Jesus is your grace. And that was sufficient enough. 
Father, we don't have to try to look outside of any other resource. So we call out any thing that is coming against your people that makes them want to look outside of God for resources. We just cancel that. In the name of Jesus, that is the spirit of doubt. Father, you are removing the spirit of doubt in the, in the hearts of your people. You're taking off the half-ripped veil on their eyes, God. And we say clear, clear vision. Clear vision to see. Clear vision to see. Clear. Clear, Lord. Clear the eyes. For the veil has been torn, not torn and still hanging, torn to the ground. There is nothing that we are, that you're holding back from us. There's nothing that we cannot have access to. Father, we're pressing in for our breakthrough, God. And we're not talking about this breakthrough that people are constantly calling for. No, we're talking about a breakthrough in the spirit. We want to go higher. We want to go, we want to get, we want to get to a place that we've heard in the books of Acts being demonstrated God we want to get to that place where we can walk and our shadows will heal because it is not our shadow but the shadow of Jesus Christ oh we just call forth the favor in Christ Jesus I am favored by the Heavenly Father the favor he has given his son has now been given to me this undeserved, unmerited favor that is granted in Christ. His favor is a free gift to me, for which I am thankful for. Father, give us understanding that your favor is a gift to us. Come on, come on, you don't have to wait on favor. You don't have to wait on favor. You don't have to wait on favor. The scripture says that his favor is a gift to us. You don't have to wait on favor. You're walking in it. You're walking on favor. Come on, I'm getting a vision. I see, I see many of us are going to be walking on water this season. And I'm not talking about you getting off the boat and onto the ocean naturally. I'm talking about in the spirit. You're coming out of a place of being stuck. You're coming out of a place of being stuck. Of not knowing how to operate in the supernatural. God is saying this season. If you would just understand. That you have been gifted with favor. You will come out of that boat, boat. And walk on water. But not like Peter. Because you will not sink. You will not sink. You will not fail. If you would just step out in my favor. You will not fail, fail if you will just step out in favor and know that favor has been gifted to you. It's not something you earn because you are undeserving of it. It is something that is given to us. As Jesus kept increasing in wisdom and in stature and stature and in favor with God and man, I also do. Because I abide in Jesus and he abides in me. I'm going to break off right now the mentality that it was just D Jesus who can do it. I don't have the ability to. That's a lie. And I place it with the truth. That Jesus says, greater works you shall do. Greater works you shall do. Embrace the favor of God. For it is better than silver and gold. The favor of God on our life endures for a lifetime and causes my mountain of influence and blessing to stand strong. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I call forth the mountain of influence in your life. That you would have influence that is blessings 
after blessings after blessings. Not for your glory, but for the glory of the Lord to be shine upon you. For it to shine upon you so that all who see you will know that you carry the glory. His favor surrounds us like a shield against our enemies. The Lord's favor. The Lord favors us with vindication, 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 vindication. Hore man kida basa tararawam, ida man kore be kida baba. Father, right now, Lord, we just block off everything, God, that's distracting these words. To fall into our mind. These are seeds we're planting, God. Seeds we are planting in the mind, God. To understand what your word holds. The power of your word. Because you did light in our prosperity. Your blessings on our life attracts the rich among the people who seek our favor. By the favor of the Lord, the works of our hands are confirmed and established. All that I put my hands to is favored. My steps are bathed in buttered and the rock pours out oil for me. As I seek the Lord's favor, he is gracious unto me according to his word. I am favored in my home. I am favored in my workplace. I am favored everywhere where everywhere I go and all that I do. I am favored in my business. I love wisdom. I seek diligently. Diligently for wisdom, and I understand it. Then, therefore, I have been granted favor by the Lord, and I am favored by others. And the light of my king's face is life, and his favor is like a cloud with the spring of rain over me. His favor is like a heavenly dew that falls on my life. Come on, you're gonna have to decree that you're receiving this favor. Some of us say, God, that you would just give us the favor, but you you have to call forth the things as which they are. You have to call forth the things as which they are. These are things that have already been given to his people, but have not been used properly. Some people have tapped into favor and not used it for his glory. Some of us need to tap into this favor and believe that this favor is something we already carry. We love wisdom and we seek it, God. So therefore, I have been granted favor by the Lord. I am favored by others and the sight of my king's face is life. His favor is like heavenly dew that will fall on my life. That means that the heavenly dew that is falling on your life, with, which means it does not stop raining in the spirit. It does not stop producing in the spirit. So when the heavens dew of rain comes on your life, you will have an unlimited access of favor. I am favored in his presence. And he goes before me, revealing his goodness and glory to me. His favor opens doors of opportunity for me that no man can shut. By his favor, I have been granted the keys of the kingdom. Whatever I bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever I loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. His righteousness scepter his righteous scepter of favor is extended towards me whatever i ask in the name of christ he grants unto me when i make my requests and petitions according to his will he daily grants me great favor because of the covenant blood of christ and the promises in his word blessed blessed be the name blessed be the name of the lord who favors his people Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. For we are highly favored. Thank you, Jesus, that the same favor you placed on Mary, you placed on your people. When you sent forth an angel to speak over Mary's life, you said, woman, you have been found highly favored. So today I declare and decree that those who are listening have been found 
have been found highly favored. You've been highly favored by the Lord. Begin to believe it. Begin to walk in it. Begin to study it. So that you would know how to move in it. How to operate in it. Thank you Jesus. We do not walk according to the flesh, but we walk according to the spirit in Romans 8. It is not by our might, but by the spirit of the Lord. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there will always be freedom, freedom to access everything he has granted unto us. He knew that what he, when he placed the call over our life, he knew what it would require. And so therefore he established all that was needed to fulfill the purpose, to fulfill the will, your destiny in your life. You're just going to have to begin to step out, step out in the spirit, step out in the spirit and begin to declare that there is favor in your life and believe it. Don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. If you are having a hard time struggling with the spirit of doubt, then you might need to fast because sometimes, like the word says, some things do not come out without fasting and praying. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this hour. We thank you, Father, you are hearing the words because they're your words. You're hearing our decrees. You're declaring them forth. You're establishing them now in our life. And we thank you, God, that you have given us another day to stand in the gap, to be able to stand up and shout your words, to be able to shout, shout out your words to just pour over us. Father, we're believing that in the next 30 days, we will see the fruit of our decreeing and declaring that we will see the fruit, God. Open doors. Open doors to businesses. Open doors to new employment. Open doors. God, we, we just say favor will be upon us. God, we will walk like Joshua. And oh, every time our foot will hit the land, we will take territory, God. And that we will declare it as we walk. That when my foot steps on the scene, when my foot hit this territory, I have been highly favored. And all that is needed. Everything that I ask for to, to fulfill the purpose of, of our life will be right there, right before me. Just as you took Pharaoh's heart, God, and you softened it to let your people go, you will soften the hearts of men to let the resources go in the name of Jesus. Wisdom at this hour, God. Give us wisdom in this hour, God. Give us the sermon at another level, Lord. Give us the sermon at another level, Father. Let our eyes see something greater. Past the natural. Let our ears hear greater past the natural. Let our minds come into the alignment of understanding that we walk in favor and we are highly favored. It is not something we have to work. It is something that has already been given. At this season, we will come out. We will come out. We will come out. We will come out. Come out. Of that place that produces nothing. That we would come out of that place that produces nothing. Yesterday we said that the dam has been broken. And today we say you got to walk out of the dam. To believe that it has been broken. To see the outpouring of resources in your life. To see the resources of, of provision. To see the wisdom in your life. To see yourself ex ex just coming in into an, a spirit of excellence. Because you understand the word of God. If it is true, then it is so. 
If his words are true, if the Bible was true, then it is so according to his word in our life. Oh, we thank you, Jesus. Father, deal with our hearts today. Deal with our heart, God, that if there's anything found, anything found that is keeping us from being fully operating in what you have given us, that you would show us how, be, make sure that we're quick to address it, God. That we would know that this would be the thing hindering us. And that the only way, the only remedy is to have, to fix it is to have faith in it. If it, if it is, if it is something that requires faith, God, that there would be faith that would increase. You know, the, the disciples, uh, would ask the Lord, Father, increase our faith because we just don't see it. You might need to just stand there and just ask the Lord, fill me up. With an increase of your faith, God, there is, there is, there is no limit on faith. Just because you came into Christ doesn't mean that you already have all in faith. You might just have a portion of faith. You might just, when you see that you can only believe for certain things and you can't believe for other things, then you just have a portion of faith. You need to ask God to give you an abundance of faith. A faith that is unwavering. A faith that comes past portion but into wholeness sometimes we don't understand that we we our faith our faith is a substance of the unseen but our faith even though we don't see it you got to hear what he's saying it's a substance it's a substance A substance is, is a matter. It's a physical matter. It consists of something solid. You have to believe that this substance, this faith is your substance. It is solid. It is whole. It is not portioned. Thank you, Lord. And Father, we just command our morning. We command our day, God. We command our day to align to your word. That nothing will be hidden. Nothing nothing that is not of you, Lord, will be hidden. And that there's anything that comes to try to distract us on our journey. On our journey to this breakthrough, that we would recognize it quick, quickly address it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I call forth protection over the people, God. That as they go out and they're doing, that there be no weapon formed against them to prosper. There will be protection. Protect them, Lord, as they go. Say to it that the angels will cover them because they are a living word. They are a living word, God. We are your children, a living word, a spoken word. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, let me light. Illuminate your word, God. Give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation. 
all powerful God, place your anointing upon me. Place on me Solomon's anointing for resources, man to re anointing for resource management, wisdom, wealth, success, and prosperity. The Isaac anointing for investment strategies. The Cyrus anointing for financial strategies. The Esther's anointing for divine favor and kingdom strategies. Daniel's anointing for government, excellence, and integrity. Let the anointing on our life flow uncontaminated, unhindered. Let it repel every individual with the di let it repel every individual with a diabolical assignment. Let the anointing that is on my life for the season attract only those divinely ordained to assist me in fulfilling my assignment in the earth. God, that you would just align that word in Jesus' name, that you would align it, that you would only surround us with those that you have placed in this season to help not destroy to help and not destroy thank you Jesus thank you Father your word says that if any one lacks wisdom that he should ask for it so we are asking you for wisdom today god open our eyes and ears to the things of the spirit and protect us from spiritual blindness and deafness teach us the protocols of heaven give us divine understanding of the times and the seasons so that we will know exactly how to pray enlighten our eyes of under enlighten our eyes for understanding and Father, that we may grow in you. That we may grow in you, God. Thank you, Jesus. And so, we end our decree in God with our final prayer. Father, like Paul, I deserve to know you and the power of your resurrection, your fellowship of your suffering, that I may become more like you. Free us from false pretense. Through the knowledge of your word and the increase of knowledge of who I am in you. Cleanse my heart of my own agenda. Break down every barrier in my life that would keep me from hearing clearly from you, bring everything that is misaligned into divine alignment today so that my words and actions work to advance only your kingdom agenda. And Father, we pray this in Jesus' name. We pray this in the mighty name of Jesus, the one you call son, the son that you've seen that has pleased you, pleased you so much that you felt to even use your voice over the earth in an audible way. Those heard your voice when you said, this is my son who I am well pleased. Father, let that very voice be spoken over our lives. These are my children. And who I'm well pleased. Increase dreams. Increase the dreams. Increase visions, God. So that we would know what to do and how to do it. And we would have strategies coming forth out of dreams. And we would have strategies coming forth out of dreams. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we honor you today. And everything we do, God, we will glorify you. And as we go out, you go before us. Thank you, Jesus. We seal this prayer 
with the blood of Christ that speaks a greater word. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless the people who are listening and we bless those who will listen later on. That they will catch the anointing of all that was spoken here today. That they would catch the anointing of decreeing and declaring. And we pray in Jesus' name.